Hi guys. Uh, so this is going to be the video on my many petty staples, and we're going to begin with the manicure things. Here you see the stuff that I use on my hands, and I'll get into explaining right away what I use each thing for. I didn't actually end up using the nail brush there, but um, here we go. So just starting off with clean hands, I'm going to apply some hand cream, and if you don't have a hand cream, then it's fine just to use any moisturizer you have, any moisturizing lotion. And so I'm just applying this to my hands, a little dabble do ya, making sure I get in between the fingers and rubbing um, the product over each individual finger just because it works as a kind of massage and this is all about pampering and making sure that you take care of yourself. So it's something that I like to do, do a little hand massage, and I'm just going to pat the lotion dry so that it doesn't make manipulating other products difficult. And I'm going to take a cotton pad and some nail polish remover. This one has a pump, which I actually like, and everyone knows how to use nail polish remover, so this isn't a big deal. Just rub it over the nail polish and make sure that you remove what was previously there. Uh, I did have on a French manicure and some of them I had done a glitter top coat so that's why some of this took a little longer than um, normally does but just rub all the product off and you're fine. So here with this nail tool I'm just using it to push my cuticles up to give a bigger space on the nail bed and I'm sorry that the camera angle doesn't let you see all that I'm doing here but it's pretty self-explanatory. You just take the nail tool, which is curved in the sort of shape that a nail is anyway, and you push it against the cuticle so that it will just go to the top part of the nail bed as much give as it has, and that's all. That way you have more space, more nail to work with, and it's just nicer. I don't like cutting off my cuticles. I'm just using the other end of the nail tool here, which is pointed, to remove any bits that might be underneath the nail. So just cleaning out the underside of the nail, and I also think that's really important to um, presenting a nice polished look. And here I go again, pushing the cuticles up. Um, like I said, I used to cut my cuticles off but I think that just damaged the skin around my nails more than it actually helped with my cuticles. And now, after I do that, I like to fine file my nails, just make sure that there's no part of my nail that's flaking, and I'm having trouble with camera angles again. <laughs> so sorry, guys. Um, but yeah, nothing really special. My nails are really annoying and they all kind of have a different shape. Some of them are very square, others rounded. So I just kind of work with what I have and I make sure to tilt it so that it's hitting the underside of the nail when I file instead of the upper side. And that way I don't do too much damage to the part that's going to be polished. Um, and I usually move the file around the nail instead of the other way around. I know some people like doing the other way around, but I just find that more damaging. And here we go. I think it's done. And I just like to pass my finger, making sure everything's smooth, no jagged edges. And one thing I like to do, this is optional, so you don't have to do this, but I like to take a white nail polish and I paint, if my nails are long, I like to paint the white part of my nail on the underside. So you just press your finger and when it's painted, this is the difference between the hand that I did paint already and the hand that has not been painted yet. So it just looks very white, very opaque, and it's great for French manicures. Even though here I'm using a very coral, um, watermelon type color, I'll have the names of the products and the brands at the end of the video in case you're interested in like, oh, I need a hand cream or, oh, I really like the color of that nail polish. And I'm just painting my nails, so I'm sorry Again, that my hand's in the way, move the camera, but I like to paint down the middle first and then paint the sides and my mouth looks really weird because I'm both chewing gum and singing to the music in the background, so sorry for that. But again, it's just 
how I like to paint my nails down the center because that's when you dip it in that's when you have the most product and since the nail brush fans out anyway then you want to make sure you don't get too much nail polish on the sides of your hand <laughs> um, and yeah so I'm just going to paint the other hand which is always a lot more difficult but usually finding a flat surface helps I've gotten it down to being able to paint while on trains or anything but just find your balance point wherever it may be and paint 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 away this is the first coat la la paint paint painting the nails down the center and down the sides making sure I don't make any mistakes if you're wondering how it works with the white under your nails, you are going to have um, part of your finger <laughs> painted with the white, but it's fine. Once the white dries, and usually it's after the first time I wash my hands, I notice that the, the white nail polish does stay on the nail, but it separates a little bit on the skin. So after that's dry, then you can just completely peel off the white part. It's a lot easier to do, and it's a lot less maintenance work than what it looks like. I know that it seems like a very messy technique, but it really does make a difference, or at least I really do notice the difference. And here I'm just painting my second coat of nail polish, because the first one seemed too sheer. And I also like to paint the ends of my nails just to make sure that the white doesn't show on that part and so that's the finished look and I'm just going to take a clear top coat and paint over that just to make sure that I get the least amount of chippage as possible if you do make mistakes then you can either use a nail pen like I just showed um, mine's really dirty so I didn't want to show you what the tip looks like or just a q-tip with some nail polish remover and fix up the boo-boos and now to the pedicure part these are the products that I use when I do pamper myself and um, take care but I'm not going to show you my feet so here's the products a, uh, a foot cream again you can use just any lotion that you like and I just slather that on my feet before I start again pat it dry get rid of the nail polish with my nail polish remover and the cotton pad um, I like to cut my nails at this point and just make sure that everything is even and if you do notice that you've got dry spots I tend to use this foot file and the nail brush I just use on my nail beds to make sure that everything is clean both on the top and the sides you can't really get underneath your toenails this is the pomace stone which I don't really use personally but most people do and again brush away whatever parts have been removed or should have been removed and are still on your foot um, I file my nails and clean up as much as possible with the nail tool push the cuticles just like I showed on my hands to have the most amount of space separate those tootsies with a little toe separator and I get down to painting so first my nail polish two coats usually just because I usually do two coats of whatever nail polish I'm doing and then my clear coat so that it will last as long as possible and then I about twice a week I like to put on the foot cream and just slather on as much as possible the the feet just completely soaked in foot cream or moisturizer and I put on some nice fluffy socks before bed and just let that soak in during the night so that my skin is a lot more hydrated and moisturized here are pictures of the finished nails from my hands and I hope you liked this video thank you for watching bye